something that nobody's ever seen before in terms of Kimiko's character. We are doing our first yeah. dance rehearsal with everyone yeah. here um, for our musical number. <laughs> you even sang a little bit. <laughs> musical number. Kimiko finds herself in the hospital with all these injuries. Frenchie is taking care of her. And as a gesture of love, he brings her a laptop full of her favorite musicals. She starts to go into a dream sequence and then an entire musical dance number. This whole season is about Kimiko's rediscovering her own identity. Her growing, her having her own voice. More than anything, taking control. The musicals and all of the dancing is so important to her. And I think she's drawn to it, honestly, because she was never able to release her inner child. We are combining the styles from old Hollywood movies, Judy Garland, Mickey Rooney, Gene Kelly, Fred Astaire, and we're throwing it all in this wild setting. Dancing with IV bags, dancing with clipboards and knee knockers and defibrillators. Anything you can find in a hospital, we tried to dance with it. This season, sorry guys, all the other cast members, Karen by far, number one in terms of working the hardest. The preparation for it was such an experience. Two or three times a week, learning all the dance moves. That was something I had never done before. And as an actor, that's one of my favorite things, learning something new, learning a new skill. I mean, this girl, this season, just watching her was blow mining. I mean, she can do anything. It was hard, I would have to say. It I think it might be harder than stunts just because my body's not used to it. It's crazy how, how, how hard the work was outside of the set. I'm not a dancer. I never thought I was a dancer. I gotta say, man, I learned I can move. Karen and Tomer have worked incredibly hard. Neither came from a dance background, but they're excellent movers and super skilled. Obviously, Karen does a lot of fight work and so does Tomer, so they, they both have a natural dance ability. Growing up, I've always dreamt about being in a musical, and, and then I realized in that moment that I was doing it. Also being, you know, an Asian American actor, being the lead in that scene in an ensemble. I think in the past, I would only imagine myself as a background dancer or like a background singer. And to find myself in that scene and given that opportunity, I just felt really, really lucky. We're still exploring. And it was beautiful to do it with Kara. I'm so thankful for her. It, it's a pinch me moment.